all right so here you have a closer look of the box here it has all the phones that it fits all right so straight outside of the box we have What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of JP Reviews. Summer is almost here, 2023 is flying by, but since summer's fast approaching, I thought this would be a great time to review this shell box phone uh, diving waterproof case, the second generation. It goes up to 15 meters underwater. It's great for diving photography, You're getting some great footage underwater from your phone. And now that phones are so powerful that they're basically powerhouse cameras, this is gonna be a great accessory to pair with pretty much any iPhone or any Galaxy series. This thing goes from iPhone 6 and up pretty much, and from Samsung Galaxy S6 and up. So uh, it pretty much fits all, all phones at all sizes from those categories. So it makes it very, very, very useful if you do want to go on vacation, you are going underwater, you want to get catch that really good shot of some coral or something underwater when you guys go uh, snorkeling or scuba diving, this is going to be the perfect product for you guys. But before we continue, don't forget to like and share, smash that subscribe button if you guys love the content. We got some good stuff coming up in the future, so you guys are going to want to stay tuned. And uh, yeah, now we can unbox this thing and show you guys what comes inside the box. Alright, so here you have a closer look of the box. Here it has all the phones that it fits. If you guys want to stop and zoom that in and check it out, you guys can. Here's the back with a beautiful scuba diving picture. 15 meters underwater and is great for diving, capturing wonderful moments. Maximum support waterproof depth of 15 meters. And the color is going to be black. I think you get this in a couple different colors if you so wish. And uh, yeah, that's everything around the box. I do have my iPhone 6S Plus here that I'm going to use inside of this. So uh, let's open this thing up. Alright, so straight outside of the box... Nothing else is inside there. We have the actual waterproof device itself and this little box with accessories. Let's open this up first. Comes with a little card, I guess, giving you some tips and instructions. Comes with this, which I'll have to, uh, it's an opener, I guess, for, we'll check that out later on. Comes with this little foam. A nice gold lanyard that's made out of power cord. Uh, microfiber cloth, a quick start guide, and another foam piece. So that's all you're going to get inside this accessory box. If you guys want to check your quick start guide, I totally recommend that you do so for getting more maximum support. But I know that you guys are watching this video because you're going to want to check this thing out. So now let's open the actual uh, waterproof container and see how it feels. Little bag here. Color is black, and right outside of the box, this thing feels nice on my hand. Like right here, it has a beautiful camera-like feel on it with a button at the top here, which you guys can press. It has a little plastic inside there. This is made out of a, not the best plastic, but I feel like it can work. It also has a nice piece of like tempered glass up here. It says waterproof case professional in the top, and we have little latches here. So uh, it also has, if you guys want to stick it on a tripod, a screw-on thing right there. So you can hold a, a tripod if you do so wish. But I like the feel of this, like if it's an actual camera. So, so far, the material feels great. It's made out of like aluminum-ish metal die cast type it's not 100 percent metal but it definitely has some in there so very strong and durable i love i'm loving the feel so far comes with case lanyard opening tool two foams microfiber cloth quick start guide pretty much everything here is what comes inside this little accessory box all right so to open this up you start right here with popping this bad boy open there's going to be five of these not too hard to open up there's a sixth as well right here so there is six of them now we should be able to pop this thing out. Get this little plastic, uh, good looking actually picture out of here. Get that out the way. And now your phone is gonna go in a particular order. All right, so there's a couple things to note on this. First, you have a up and a down part with these two lock mechanisms. As soon as you pull this out, this is gonna come straight down 
vice versa with these two so uh keep that in mind for the future i'm gonna lock them back up you gotta push them all the way down and press the lock button you also have these thingies up here which is the ones that press the button on an android i believe you'll be using the top one on an apple you should be using this down one because he's gonna use the volume up or down button to start the video so keep that in mind we also have this back one down here that slides back and forth and uh, we get these extra foam pieces so if your phone is kind of small you can either put it here or as i did put one back up here so if you have i have this extra one keep it in handy you never know it lets it customize it to the size of your phone so keep these handy but as you can see i got this iphone 6s plus so what we're gonna do to get this thing loaded in is get the top one unlocked as you can see there and we're gonna grab the phone slide it in here until it fits nice and snug and then we're gonna grab this end right here and push it until it's tight with this foam that i put back there you can see that's pretty much about perfect you can see there and now when we press the button as you can see down here it's gonna activate the volume down which starts recording or reactivate it again which turns it off so keep that in mind that's the way you're going to use to turn this thing on and off you want your phone to be situated nice and tight and snug in there so when you can press it it's very easy to turn on and off or if you're in picture mode take a picture or don't take a picture so that's the way your phone is supposed to sit and that's the way you customize it so now we get this top part back on in here nice and snug we're going to latch all these in one two three four five and six and now as you can see we just hit the volume down to record and we hit the same button to come up right up here and if it's nice and snug you could shake this thing and it ain't going anywhere it's pretty sturdy on in there the phone isn't going to go anywhere it's very protected so it's not going to break if you drop it and uh, man, this thing is very, very sturdy. I like the way this thing is looking so far. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it, how to set it up. Let me show you guys how to put the lanyard on this thing. All right, so we're gonna start by removing this little piece right here and removing this from this compartment so we can slide this through here. It might take a little finagling, but it should get all the way through. 2,000 years later. All right, right there, as you can see, it came through. And now what we're gonna do is Slip this through here, this loop again. Reslide this back through this little uh, stopper in here. And just like that, now you can decide how you want your lanyard to be. It's in there, it's holding sturdy, and it ain't going anywhere. You can slip your, uh, your hand through it so that way you won't lose it and it will be hanging straight from your hand. And by the way, if you're wondering, yes, this screen is touchscreen, so you could change from video mode to picture mode by just hitting the screen so you will only have to uh, not have to be removing this thing in and out every time if you want to switch from picture to any other mode like time lapse or things like that. All right, so now that we've unboxed this thing to test it, I've got a little thing here filled with water that I'm gonna submerge this in and leave it for 30 minutes and see if there's any water seeping in. I know it says up to 15 meters, but it's way too cold in this time of year for, and where we're at, so that way I can go and take this to the water. But trust me, as soon as I can, I will. And I'll try to update the description to let you guys know how that went. But for right now, we're gonna test it right here. 50, uh, 30 minutes under this much amount of water. See if there's any seeping in so you guys can at least have an idea. Is this thing even waterproof like it says? So let's submerge again. All right, so let's check this thing out. We're gonna submerge it. Keep turn the phone is working, as you guys can see. We're gonna submerge it in three, two, one. There she is, fully submerged. We're going to leave it in there for uh, 30 minutes and see what happens. All right, so after about an hour of leaving this thing in the water, phone still turns on and everything still seems to be functioning perfectly. All right, so final thoughts on this waterproof uh, case for your phone. I absolutely enjoyed it. It passed the test of being in the water. Not a 15 meters, but 
it did get the job done and it will keep your phone waterproof and be able to take pictures fairly easily. The only difficult part was making sure your phone aligned itself properly. That's where these foams came in handy. So keep that in mind. You're going to have to adjust that based on what your phone is. Uh, my phone was pretty big so it fit kind of snug and it wasn't too hard. But overall... The build quality is amazing, has a spot here for your tripod or your water tripod if you do wish. And the lanyard, I thought they put a lot of good time into this because it's a pretty durable one. So uh, final thoughts, I'll rate this to 8 out of 10 stars, definitely recommend it for you guys. And uh, for the price, which I believe is somewhere in like the $40 range, it is not bad at all. Especially if you go on a vacation and you have a great phone, because phones nowadays are super great cameras. No need to waste your money on another waterproof phone when you can get one of these bad boys, fairly cheap and relatively inexpensive, that fits pretty much all Android and uh, iOS phones out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see our previous video, don't forget the button at the left. If you want to see the video, YouTube recommends hit the button at the right. And if you want to join JPTV, hit the subscribe button right up there. So until next time, this is Josiah, signing out.